Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, and also I have uh, re-included the readings that I offer in the box just to give it like just to expedite the situation a little bit more so if you are interested in a personal reading check the description box all of the readings that I offer are there below now you can either email me and let me know which reading you would like to move forward with or you can if you're having trouble deciding just send me an email let's chat about it a little bit and I'll help you decide okay um, okay uh, so I'm keeping it cute keeping it normal with something still a little bit different this month. I'm still doing uh, using the Golden Universal Tarot for the freestyle reading. And if you're new to my channel, you will be able to see, get an example of what the freestyle reading feels like, the flow of the reading. Um, you won't be able to actually see the spread because I'll be talking to you guys face to face so we can have a little bit of a conversation. You can get a little bit, uh, get to know me a little bit, uh, my energy. But if you do want to move forward with a, a freestyle, steel, st freestyle reading, this is what it's going to be like and in your personal reading you'll actually be able to see the cards because that's the focus in personal readings okay and then after that I'm moving on to the Oracle section as usual but this month I have decided to use something new the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild I love this deck it's beautiful it's got all kinds of really fantastic guidance in it um, and so far it's been great this month so I'm excited to see what comes out for all of us, yeah? Okay. So let's get straight into it. Um, there was a little bit of a pre-shuffle. And before I get into what the pre-shuffle said, first of all, y'all Virgos really came through <laughs> last month with the May reading. Um, that reading kind of like, I think that reading has gotten the most views I've gotten so far in my um uh, year and almost a half, almost a year and a half that I've been doing readings on YouTube. I think it's at like 35 or 36,000 views right now. That's freaking amazing. Like you guys are fantastic. So with that said, like for many of you, you saw the content of that video. If you haven't seen it, you might want to go back and check it out if you're interested or maybe if this resonates with you. But what came out in the pre-shuffle? Well, Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I had to remember for a second. So the first card that came out during the pre-shuffle is the Six of Wands. Um, and I was like, huh, okay, a victory. All right, cool. And that's what I heard. A victory has been achieved. Um, and underneath the deck was the Lovers. So there is some sort of choice that seems to have been made. Um, and as I was shuffling through the deck... Um, I was, you know, just continuing with the pre-shuffle. The Ace of Cups came out with the Two of Wands. Now, before people get all up in a huff, keep in mind this is a general energy reading, okay? So if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. But this can go either two ways. One, someone has made a decision and now is probably moving forward with that decision, and it could be in love. Um, someone may have decided on what they truly want, what they truly desire, and now they could be coming confidently moving forward with that decision having been made. Um, now, it also could have been you, the individual that I'm channeling for here, that has made your decision because that that reading from last month was really rough. Okay, there was, I mean, there was a lot of resentment, there was a lot of betrayal. Well, there was more resentment. Um, and you know, uh, so there was a need for communication. There was a lack of communication. Um, and so you could have been the one that has decided, made your choice and moved on with the lovers, it being a choice. Maybe you were in a, a relationship, um, a strong, maybe even committed relationship. Uh, but you have now moved on from that situation with the two of wands being the choice that has been made also in the lovers, the lovers being a choice, but also with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups can either be you um, embodying divine love, you cherishing and loving yourself and choosing to fill your own cup. So in this case, it could be maybe you have chosen to move on from this specific relationship instead of staying in it in honor of your own self in a, as a form of loving your own self. Or 
this per someone that is you are connecting with have been connecting with may have some sort of history or drama with they may have chosen you over someone else um either way there is a victory involved okay now, if you're the one that has chosen your own self, obviously, yes, that is a victory. And I do feel an energy of someone walking forward with their head held high, uh, completely confident in themselves, or at least confident in the fact that they believe they've chosen the right thing. And as far as other people are concerned, other people's opinions don't matter. If you feel like you've made the right decision, then you've made the right decision. Continue moving forward, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what may have may happen uh, in re uh, in relation to that or subsequently, regardless of what other people may say about it, okay? Excellent. So, with all of that said, we're going to get into the reading now. Whew. All right, guys, here we go. Please don't mind the car alarms. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of June 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles and then we're going to get into it. Now, before I continue, I just want to make it clear that even though the messages that are coming through are dated for June, these messages and these videos are meant to be timeless, okay? The, the, the monthly thing or even the daily thing is really just for organizational purposes. Yes? Okay. Shuffle number two. Now, with that said, as I've been channeling the energies for Virgo right now for the messages that are coming through for this month, number three... Um, I was seeing pink, especially as I was holding the deck and really like focusing in this moment, I was seeing pink and then I was seeing purple, number four. So love, I really feel like um, divine love, divine self-love, divine union, or maybe love for another, number five, is the name of the game this month, or at least is the name of the game for the messages that are coming through at this moment in time, okay, Virgo? All right, so here we go. Let's see what we've got. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of June. Boop. Overall energy. Mm. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is about a choice, is about illusion, um, confusion. Uh, but I feel like, what, what literally what I heard when I saw the Seven of Cups for the first time here, I heard obstacles have been overcome, choices have been made. Uh, either you or someone else that you're connecting with was facing a situation or a period a, a period in life in which they had a lot in front of them. They had a lot of different obstacles. They had a lot of different options in front of them. They or they had a lot of different things, circumstances that they needed to to weed through or you know take a fine tooth comb through to really make sense of it, to really understand what was going on with it. But I'm hearing literally the first thing I heard with this seven of cups was choices have been made, obstacles have been overcome. So this is not just about someone, you know, having all kinds of options and being kind of wishy-washy and whimsical and be like, oh, I don't know, I'll choose this one. No, this was a situation in which there was a lot going on around somebody. There were a lot of different choices to make, a lot of different opinions to decipher through. You may have had a lot of different opinions coming at you, whether this was, you know, internally or this was from the people around you. I do feel pretty heavily that this had a lot to do with the, the choices, behaviors, and opinions, and belief systems of others that ha is weighing pretty heavily on a lot of these different obstacles or options that someone ha had to deal with. But yet someone threw out all of this confusion and all that, someone has made a choice. Either this is you, uh, I, I feel like this is the Virgo. Virgo, you've made a choice, or it could be the cross watcher, okay? Take it as it resonates, but I am doing this reading for Virgos, yes? Then we have the two of pentacles with, ah, there's the lovers again. And, oh, that's right, the page of swords. The page of swords also came out during the pre-shuffle. Um, okay, it was the page, now I remember. It was the page of swords that came out with 
the um, with the Ace of Cups, and then underneath the deck was the Two of Wands. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> um, going back to the pre-shuffle now. Uh, there were two sets of cards, just to recap in case you guys are getting a little bit confused. In the pre-shuffle, the first card that came out was the Six of Wands, victory, success. Underneath the deck was the lovers, a choice has been made. And in this situation, I feel like somebody, whoever has made their choice, regardless of what the decision is, regardless of what your circumstances are, I feel like whoever has made this choice has overcome all these different confusing illusions and, and opinions and all these different things to go with or to choose from. Somebody has made their decision and they feel really good about it. They're feeling really strong, really confident, like they're absolutely going in the right decision, okay? It almost feels like you may have gone through some sort of hermit situation now the hermit does represent virgo energy but specifically i'm feeling the energies of the hermit because it's like somebody dug deep okay did some real soul searching um, or maybe this is something that's going to be happening over your month of june but whatever um take it as it resonates did some really deep soul searching and figured something out and made a decision. The second set of cards that came out during the pre-shuffle was the Ace of Cups with the Page of Swords and underneath the deck was the Two of Wands. So yes, in fact, somebody either is working on making a decision or has made a decision. And with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords, it's as if somebody is holding their cup of love and could potentially be spying on this person like if this is a situation in which someone has chosen that they in, in fact do want to be with you, it's almost as if they're holding this cup of love, watching you, waiting for the right time to strike, kind of, okay? Now, here, yes, I'm feeling the same energies because you have the seven of cups, you have the two of pentacles, you have the lovers, and then you also have the page of swords. I do feel like someone has made a decision or someone is making a decision over the month of June, but they're still having to keep balance here. They may not be revealing what the decision that they have made unless it's a decision in which they've chosen to walk away and now they've walked away from you. Um, either way, in face of the decision that has been made, the lovers, okay, this person, whoever this is, this either could be you, Virgo, or this could be someone else, could need to maintain the balance somehow. So that's why they may have to stay on the outskirts and kind of like spy on you, okay? Now, if you're the one that has made this decision and it doesn't involve another person, like say maybe you've made a decision to walk away from a situation, um, this is this is a spyful, this is kind of a spying energy, yes, with the Page of Swords, but it also feels, this feels like a sentry. This feels like an energy of someone or something that's keeping an eye out for distractions or danger, okay? But now, in terms of the choice that has been made, either this is cho a choice in terms of a romantic partnership, maybe a divine union, a divine partnership, you could say a twin flame, who knows, or this is uh, the divine union within yourself in you and you choosing virtue over vice, vice being the opinions and desires and wishes of other people versus virtue being the opinion, desires, and wishes of your own heart. Someone here has chosen themselves, and it actually could be both. It could be if this person, if this is you, Virgo, or maybe this is someone you've connected with, if you've chosen, I just heard, the right love for you, it has everything to do with what you desire and not what other people are telling you you should desire, Seven of Cups, okay? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let's get into the rest of the reading here. Uh, I, do, I do split this in two parts. You can either look at this as the first half of your month or the second half of your month. Personally, I recommend that you look at it as the first half of the reading and the second half of the reading. Why? Energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. At any moment, a message could come out at one part of at one section of the reading and then another message could come out in a different section of the reading and still apply to something that came out earlier. The, the energies can mix and mingle and intertwine and blah, blah, blah. So I recommend that you just let it flow free form and take it as first half of the reading, second half of the reading. Yes? Okay. <laughs> Confirmation. First half of the reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, we have 
Mm-hmm. The Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new start. Either you are looking to or planning on taking sort of some sort of action in offering some sort of pentacle to somebody, offering some sort of, this could be a peace offering, um, this could be uh, a romantic partnership, like this literally could be some sort of, some sort of commitment. Now I'm not saying if it is, if it is a commitment, I'm not saying that this is like everything all wrapped up in one. This is the first step towards that, okay? And if this is not for, if you're not trying to offer something to somebody, like a commitment or something to somebody, then this is you stepping off and on your new journey, embarking on your brand new beginning, your new physical reality. So that would resonate in terms of someone that has made a decision to move on for themselves um, rather than, you know, stay in a relationship that may have been long standing or stay in a situation in which other people were influencing you regardless of what type of choice has been made by you or this other person this is the first step in that direction this is the beginning of the reality that comes from making that decision for oneself yes ace of pentacles is coupled with ah the nine of pentacles look at that you guys that creates your ten of pentacles beautiful the nine of pentacles is either an offer coming towards someone who is single or someone who is independent and strong on their own working on manifesting that last pentacle that that would complete their 10. Okay. Also, this is more Virgo energy, this nine of pentacles. All right, Virgo. Independent, strong. There is an offer coming to someone. I'm hearing there's an offer coming to you. And this is and if you if you do have an offer coming to you, this is because you have been very much focused on yourself, your stability, your finances, your career, your groundedness, your sense of security, your even your sense of identity. Okay, all of that work that comes throughout once you you know moving from the ace to the nine is what will bring you that offer or set you up to complete that situation, which would come through with the 10, one plus nine. Yes? It's really cool, Virgo. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, we have, ah, but then there's the eight of swords. Okay, but this makes perfect sense um, because it still feels like Someone isn't quite ready to extend the offer. The Eight of Swords is feeling trapped. So you may have, you may have made a decision, but that doesn't necessarily mean you've taken action on it, okay? Obviously the first step in, in anything is to make a decision. Next you have to move, you have to start taking action. But mentally you're still kind of feeling trapped. You're still kind of feeling bound. And that's why I was feeling this energy of someone still has to keep up appearance or someone still has to juggle the old with the new um, because this this is a fresh beginning. This is a fresh start, okay? Uh, this is very, the Two of Pentacles is very much an energy of being in between worlds sometimes and, and needing to balance that out. Someone also could feel like, because even if you have made a decision here, that doesn't mean that you're completely leaving every element to your past behind you. So this Eight of Swords energy could be um, you trying to figure out how you can make everything harmonize and feeling trapped, okay? Uh, but I do feel an energy of someone working on trying to release this cage, the, the, release themselves from this cage that they're in, or at least they feel like they're in. Eight of Swords is coupled with, ah, the Knight of Wands. Okay. Now, this could be a situation in which somebody really just wants to ride forward, man, passionately, strongly, real quickly, just wants to come in um, hot and heavy, real fast, but they feel like they can't. Or maybe they can't. Maybe this is a situation in which... Um, especially continuing from the reading last month, if this side of if this part of the situation resonates with you, this could be a situation in which this person has actually made a decision and does want to come back, but because of situations from the past, they can't ride in as passionately or as quickly as they may really want to, because th there's some shit that needs to be dealt with first. Okay. 
that's all right though. That is okay. Although this does feel very uh, like opposing. Like you, it's almost as if, well, no, you do want to, someone does want to move, but they feel like they can't. All right. The challenge in the first half of the reading for you, Virgo, we have, there's the Ace of Cups again. The challenge is extending this love, but it's also showing your self-love, okay? Um, but to be quite honest with you, Virgo, it's you showing yourself this sense of love that has even gotten you this far to begin with, that has even allowed you to make this decision to begin with. Or at least if you haven't, like if, like if this decision or this is happening throughout the month of June, I know I'm kind of speaking about it as if it's already happened, like the decision has already been made. Because Spirit is saying in many cases or in many, in many senses, yes, the decision has been made. But if it hasn't been made, if you're going through this over the month of June, then, or after, whenever this resonates for you, then yeah, the, the decision or the challenge right now, or at least in the first half of the reading could be about showing yourself enough love to make a decision that's actually much better for you, what's best for you, regardless of what other people try to tell you what's best for you, okay? Now, the other, on the other hand, the challenge is how do I extend this love? How do I ride in all hot and heavy and extend this love to someone? It's a damn good question. <laughs> Ace of Cups is coupled with, ah, uh, the Eight of Cups. There you go. Walking away. Okay, all right. See, the challenge here really is loving yourself. Yes, you could be needing to, you could be wanting to extend love to someone, but also the challenge here is loving yourself. And the thing that I like to say about the Eight of Cups uh, pretty often is that this, this person has neatly stacked those eight cups, but it's not complete. Why? It's not the 10. So either they're walking away to go find those two, that two of cups that would complete the 10 or the romantic partnership, the soulmate relationship that would complete the 10. <clears throat> it could even be the balance between masculine and feminine within, because that also could be what the two of cups would represent to complete the 10. Um, or they're walking away from this all together because what they have worked so hard to stack up is not right. It's not right for them. It is, is not ultimately the fulfillment that they thought it would be. And so you could potentially be walking away to start over. Now, the first thing I'm seeing here is that someone is in fact walking away from some sort of established way of being or some sort of established energy within their lives to find the two of cups, but it's gonna, it has to start with the ace of cups. And so when someone walks away or what someone needs to walk away from is absolutely in service of loving thyself, working towards filling your own cup rather than requiring everything that you're stacking here to fill your cup for you, which is the mentality that you might have been in in the past, which has gotten you into the situation that you are now trying to adjust, we'll say, okay? Now, the other way you could see this is someone is in fact walking away from eight neatly stacked cups in order to offer a cup to someone. Because they have their own, well, they could, because I'm seeing it this way, so I'm just going to say it. They have their own full cup and now they want to offer another cup to someone else and then you have that 10. Okay, fine. <laughs> Moving forward, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Virgo. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. There is that offer that we see in the Ace of Pentacles being extended. There is, and that is in fact an offer of commitment. Now, it does, it's not a huge commitment. This is not, it's not like you have the Knight of Pentacles or even the King or Queen of Pentacles coming through with this. It's the Page of Pentacles. But that's not a bad thing, guys. Everything has to start somewhere. And I personally, you know, and I felt, I, I did this for a minute as a reader myself. I was like, 
Look, I ain't trying. I, I ain't taking no crumbs. I ain't ex, I ain't accept, accepting any offers from nobody except no king. Okay, look, that's not no, no. I've come to understand that that's fairly um, unrealistic. Everything has to start somewhere. And it would be better if you really want your situation to be as solid as it possibly can be, you need to start from the bottom, from the ground and work your way up. That's what the Page of Pentacles represents here. So either someone is coming through in, in, at some moment in time, it doesn't have to happen in June, it can happen at any moment, but the energies, the messages are coming through now, the guidance is coming through now, at this moment in time. So either someone is going to it want, is looking to be coming forward to extend some sort of offer for to you to start something new, start something fresh, start something over, these are all things I'm hearing, or you are extending this offer to yourself to level up in a sense, to reach, to, to embark on a new journey, to start a new physical reality and from which that you from which you're going to work your way up towards and it is encouraging that it's the page of pentacles because the page of pentacles is all about following through on something is about commitment is about learning and honoring that commitment okay learning through the process building growing getting stronger and all that kind of stuff that is beautiful that's really beautiful page of pentacles is coupled with Ah, the Ten of Wands, though. There's all the burden that I was picking up on here with the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Yes, somebody wants to make an offer. It's true, but there's a lot that needs to be handled first. The thing that is keeping, that is holding this offer back the most is the burden from the past. Maybe all the situations and circumstances you guys found yourself in the past, maybe it has to do with their physical life, um, you know, the, the, the circumstances that they're in, the commitments that they've already made in their own personal life. Maybe it has to do with your personal life and the commitments that you've made if the offer is looking to be coming towards you. Um, now, if you are moving forward in your life, you've made a decision and now you're leveling up, there are still some things you need to handle with this 10 of wands in order for you to really level up, to really be able to step into this new level, new reality and start making moves. There are still some things you've got to handle first, some sort of loose ends that need to be tied up, okay? All right. So getting into the second half of your reading now, Virgo, first set of surrounding energies for you, we have the nine of wands now. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. Someone's feeling battered and bruised. Someone's also feeling very defensive. Now, this could be both of you if you are, you know, in the process of connecting with someone. You both could be really defensive. This could be about, you know, things that have happened in the past between the two of you, or this could just be your history romantically, if we're talking about a romantic relationship here, all right? But the Nine of Wands is also an energy of perseverance. Just keep swimming, all right? It's not over yet. That's what I'm getting with the Nine of Wands. It's not over yet. You're reaching the end of it. You're reaching the completion and you're reaching the situation or the time period in which you can lay down all of these wands and start over anew, okay? But for right now, perseverance is key. Or at least at the moment that you're watching this reading, this video, and it is resonating with you, perseverance is key here, okay? Also needing to trust and believe in yourself and your intuition. Because I'm hearing it's right on target. Nine of Wands is coupled with <laughs> the Nine of Swords. Woo! <laughs> okay, look, I, I, I don't mean to laugh, but still, that's kind of funny. But it makes sense, all right? You need to persevere because your intuition, and you need to trust your intuition because your mind is playing tricks on you here, all right? You are able to have success. The Six of Wands did pop out as the first card of the of the the um, uh, uh, in the pre-shuffle. Okay, victory is at hand. There is going to be, or there already is, cause to celebrate. 
don't give up. Do not let your self doubt, your fears, your anxieties uh, 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 influence you into throwing in the towel. You are almost there, Virgo. You're almost there. Don't give up now, okay? And I want to say either to, I want to say that to both of you. Don't give up now. You are almost there. I want to cry. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you. And I say that to both of you if it applies to both of you. If you're just one person here that's made your own decision to move on with your life, then okay. But don't give up. Yes? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. In the second half of your reading here, you've got the Ace of Swords. Boop. Truth. Clarity. Honesty. Integrity. Faith, I'm hearing. That's interesting. But um, this Ace of Swords feels like communication. It feels like somebody is going to be setting something straight, setting the record straight somehow, being truthful, being honest, coming clean about something. But this also has to do with an epiphany that you've had. This actually could be the energy that Either you already became aware of this, or this is something that you're coming aware of, becoming aware of maybe during the month of June or during some sort of time period, whenever this resonates for you. But this looks like the energy that has given you the clarity that has helped you make this decision with the Seven of Cups. That's helped you clear away the confusion or the options. Um, and the Seven of Cups is the first card that came out in the overall energy here in your reading, okay? So that is the focus here, clearing up the illusion, Ace of Swords. Either this is something you have already done coming into the month of June, or this is potentially something that you could be doing over the month of June or maybe after. Doesn't matter. Time and energy, time is an illusion, energies are fluid, yes? Excuse me. Ace of Swords is coupled with excellent Virgo, the four fucking pentacles. Yes! Cut that shit away. Let go of it. Now you realize you have the understanding, you have the knowledge, you have the in-depth insight I just heard to finally release some things that you have needed to let go of for a very long time. God bless, Virgo. Gone, sister or brother, whatever. <laughs> yes. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Virgo, you've got... Oh. The Page of Cups. Extending a love offer. All right. Reconciliation. Ooh, yeah. There could be that reconciliation we were talking about for the month of May. Uh, yeah. Someone probably wants to reconcile here. Wants to apologize, say I'm sorry. Can we put the past behind us? Can we start anew? Ten of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Well, that would be a challenge, especially if, you know, this is a continuation for you from the month of June. Um, not from the month of June, from the month of May. You know, with the troubling energies that came through with that, someone could be wanting to reconcile. So that could be a challenge. But now if that's not you, if that's not resonating with you, then this challenge is the dreamer energy, um, allowing your emotions to clear up so that you can in fact dream up a new reality for yourself. Yes? Almost like hitting the emotional reset button. Page of Cups is coupled with, oh, you guys. The Two of Cups. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So we have the Lovers and we have the Two of Cups here. Both of these are depictions of, first and foremost, inner divine union. Okay. The union between the masculine and the feminine energies within you. But I also see the, 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 Two of Cups as the minor arcana version of the lovers. We do have, God, and I was wondering if this was going to come out, but we have a divine partnership here in some cases, and that really could just be 
the partnership of the masculine and feminine energies within you. And so in terms of that, this is the masculine and feminine coming together, healing, reconciling, coming into union, and then dreaming of your reality or entering the dreamer energy from that place, okay? Also though, this could be a reconciliation between two divine counterparts, two soulmates, uh, two lovers, whatever. Look, y'all, I don't want to hear about it in the comments section. If you're like, look, I don't want so-and-so, that MF to come back, blah, 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 yep. Then look at this from the, from the point of view of the divine masculine and divine feminine energies within yourself coming into union, regardless of whether you resonate with the twin flame journey or not. We all have divine masculine and divine feminine energies. We all have masculine and feminine energies. And in my personal opinion, each and every one of us is divine in our own way. So whatever, all right? But... You do with that what you will, but okay. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Virgo. We've got in the second half of your reading. Ah, <laughs> judgment, awakening, resurrection, redemption. So if if there is some sort of energy in which someone wants to reconcile. I do kind of feel like a second chance will be given should they come correct. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you are in a situation in which you want to reconcile with someone and there's a lot of deep, heavy, dark, burdensome energy between the two of you, you can, in fact, reconcile. Don't give up. Don't let your fears get the best of you. But keep in mind that you've got to come correct, okay? Words will only take you so far. You have to show and prove. You have to follow through. Page of Pentacles. You've got to release the burden, okay? Reconcile, release the shit that, that needs to be released, both of you do, and then follow through. Page of Pentacles. Now, to be quite honest, in all honesty, the best card to represent that follow through would be the Knight of Pentacles. I just saw that in my head, which is the step up from the page. But we have the page here and it's the page's intention from his place of truth and purity and innocence. It's his intention to follow through. He just has to do it. Okay. Judgment is coupled with the Eight of Wands. Communication. Honesty, clarity, but this is a clear and honest space to move forward with. This is like clear air. This is clearing the air, okay? I really do feel like if there is some sort of reconciliatory energy that's trying to come forward towards you, I do feel like everything, things will be forgiven and healed within due time. And the air will clear and you will have the ability, the chance to move forward without obstruction. Now, keep in mind, I, when I say that, I mean the obstruction of things from the past, okay? It doesn't mean you're never going to have any obstacles, blah, blah, blah. There will always be challenges in life or we wouldn't be here to begin with. That's part of the reason why we're here in life, in this three-dimensional reality, is to face challenges, overcome them, expand and grow. But I'm, what I'm seeing here with this eight of wands and judgment is that the challenges and the burdens from the past will be cleared away and you'll be able to really move forward in the way that you probably really were, are meant to with judgment here, okay? Divine destiny, divine calling, all that kind of stuff, right? All right, Virgo. So now we're going to get into your oracle card here. I have to say, this feels so good in comparison to what happened last month. And obviously, if you're not trying to go back to that situation, then take this as what's going on internally, okay? Okay reconciliation with yourself maybe you need to feel like you need to reconcile because you know you might be mad at yourself for allowing yourself to be in that position that you're now coming out of but don't be mad at yourself it was necessary you learned something you were meant to learn something from it and you've come out bigger better and stronger obviously so like give like cut yourself some slack here okay <laughs> all right virgo one more shuffle here 
And let's get your oracle card for this reading. Best message, please. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. There it is. Excuse me. Okay, we've got... Uh, whoa. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This is a beautiful card. This is actually one of my favorite cards. And when I first got this deck... Um, I, you know, I saged it, I prayed over it, I set the intention, and then I just pulled some cards for myself just as an introductory. And I got this one. One of, this was one of the cards. Card number 39, free from judgment, free to love. And this is, oh, sorry, there's that glare. I don't want uh, I hope you guys can see it. This is, the message in this card is beautiful. So let's just get to it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And, and it's so, and it's really it's kind of perfect for this reading. Okay. Um, also, oof, this is a pretty long-winded one. So bear with me. I do want to read the whole thing, but bear with me here, okay? Free from judgment, free, free to love. Yes, okay. Imagine a world so infused with bliss, love, and wonder that you naturally and always feel as safe as a nourished, cherished baby in the arms of the universal mother. Life mothers us with kindness, and sometimes we need it to grow through challenges as well. Accepting this mothering it, in its gentle and fierce faces can be difficult at times, Yet there are those brave enough in spirit to go forth into their life, excuse me, onto their life path with absolute trust in the universal mother. Some are even part of her plan to help uh, mother others so that they too can surrender fear and live more freely. This oracle comes with a message for you. You are learning about mothering and being mothered. You might not do this in a typical way. It might be through bearing children, but it could also be through adopting children, raising children, or otherwise taking care of children and loving them as if they were your own. You might also be learning how to mother on a rather different scale, working with groups, communities, causes, or purposes that need your devotion, your energy, your belief in their value, and your willingness to be the wild tigress or the supportive shoulder to lean upon in order to bring those worthwhile groups to life. You may also be in an aspect of the universal mother on a spiritual level. I'm sorry, let me say that again. You may also be an aspect of the universal mother on a spiritual level. Some people that do this are male. He. Some are female. <laughs> some have children and some do not. Some are healers and some work in seemingly more ordinary professions. They have a mothering aspect in common and they love and respect life. They believe in life, are moved by compassion, and are genuinely encouraging and respectful of, of, of people. Rather than taking perverse delight when someone stumbles, they want to help. They are ordinary people with an extraordinary, natural tendency to nurture life around them. This oracle brings you confirmation that you are amongst the Universal Mother's special clan of nurturing spirits that help to honor life on this planet. You are also being asked to open up to receive more nurturing. You can do this for yourself. You can also choose to open up and allow others to nurture you. It might make you feel a little vulnerable at first, especially if you are not used to doing this, but, don't, but you don't have to worry. You will get used to valuing, valuing yourself enough to know that needing love and affection from another is an opportunity, not only for you to receive, but for someone else to give, which involves them being received too. If you are tired and have been taking care of every, everyone else, then take some time to shift the pattern and allow life to support, to support you too. The Universal Mother helps the helpers so as they can keep helping. It works rather well, you see, for those that give so much to also receive abundantly. If you have been asking for a solution to a specific difficulty you have been having, this oracle comes with the message that a solution is in gestation right now. The solution is already being sorted out and the resolution will come to fruition very soon. Hold tight and wait for the imminent birth of that resolution. 
This is also a confirmation. If you are interested in working with children, the inner child, with art therapy for emotional healing, or any sort of uninhibited creative expression that helps dislodge social conditioning and open one up to more spontaneous, feeling-based existence, then yes, go ahead and do it. The Universal Mother is supporting you, and you cannot get a more powerful ally. This also, br oh, I'm sorry, this oracle also brings you a message about love. You may find that you are loving or soon will love in a different way. You may worry about this love, given that it defines, I'm sorry, given that it defies what you have known or been taught about love. Perhaps you are becoming able to love an another tremendously, even though you don't have much of a personal relationship with them. You might question if this love is real. Is it real? Oh, I'm sorry, it is real. It is just happening at a different level to the love and attachment you experience when you are involved in a personal relationship with someone. It is not more or less. It is just a different facet of love. It may be that you are opening up to love the planet and her creatures, including the animals, the ocean dwelling life, your own body, the trees, and so on, more than before. You may feel passionately purposeful about giving your time and energy to causes that protect and nurture the earth and her creatures. You are affirmed in this love too. The Universal Mother is operating through you to nurture life. She will support you in your work so that you can continue to come from love and not become drained, depleted, or lost in despair or fear of futility. Instead, you will be energized and expanded by your dedicated service to life. Finally, this oracle has a message for those who may be feeling alone or lonely and in need of greater nurturing from others. You are asked to stop, relax, center, and settle into your body to feel your connection with life itself. The air in your lungs is the same air that moves the trees. The water in your blood is the same water that fills the oceans and is moved by the phases of the moon. The flesh in your body is the same substance in that as that body of the earth itself. The heat in your digestive system is the same fire and heat that is from the sun. As uh, feel that connection, I'm sorry, feel this connection, then do something nice for another without agenda. Make a donation, even just a small one. Smile, say a prayer, send out a good thought or make a wish for another. That's it. You have connected to life again, and in doing so, life can connect with you. And so, it shall. Well, thank you so much. Virgo for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to reach out. I would be very happy to help you out with that. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic, a fantastic June, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yes? Take care. Bye.